So the first thing that I want to talk about uh, before we get into the actual meat of the seminar is really why we came up with functional anatomic palpation and why we feel that palpation is of utmost importance to manual practitioners regarding uh, both diagnosis and treatment of musculoskeletal conditions. So when you're in, uh, in school, when you're in the, the college, or I don't think we have any massage therapists here today, but if you're in massage therapy, one thing that you guys learn in orthopedic class is that pretty much orthopedic tests are supposed to point you into the direction of the diagnosis. You have a battery of tests that you do, and once you've done all these tests, the diagnosis is gonna spring up at you, and then you're gonna know exactly how to treat it because you took um, you know, second year technique class, and then you're good to go. But as a lot of you guys will realize, and a lot of the practitioners will uh, back me up on this, when you get out into practice, it's gonna be probably 88% of the time or 90% of the time, you're going to find that you've done all of your orthopedic examinations and you kind of know what area the problem is in, but you really haven't pinpointed a diagnosis. And the problem with not being able to pinpoint a diagnosis is that you're not going to be able to pinpoint a very specific type of treatment in order to combat or battle that diagnosis. So the first concept that I have up here is the idea of macro versus micro tissue injury. Orthopedic testing, for the most part, is developed by orthopedic surgeons for orthopedic conditions. Now, as manual therapist, be it a chiropractor, a uh, massage therapist, a uh, physiotherapist, we rarely see orthopedic type problems. And by orthopedic type problems, I mean problems that have macro tissue injury. So, for example, Dr. Shivan and I practice at, uh, at Sports Performance Center, it's a sports clinic, so we get more orthopedic problems than a regular chiropractor would get. But even still, we very rarely see someone hobble in with a, a basketball-shaped knee because they just blew their ACL. On occasion, you get an MCL tear. Very rarely do you get a, a muscle rupture, like a bicep rupture. But you, you, know, you do get them. And when you do get them, these orthopedic tests are great because the orthopedic tests do very well in delineating or teasing out macro injury. They don't do great, but they do pretty good for some things. As manual therapists, though, we're dealing more in the micro tissue injury world. So we're dealing with fascial restrictions, we're dealing with minor muscle pulls, we're dealing with, uh, let's say, joint uh, inflammation or irritation or dysfunction or whatever you want to call it. Where orthopedic tests fall short are for these micro tissue injuries. They do very little in telling us what the problem is when it's not a, you know, an overt fracture or a blown out ligament or a ruptured tendon. So what we do is we turn to the imaging methods. Imaging methods being you know, x-ray, uh, ultrasound, MRI. But the problem with x-ray, ultrasound, MRI is once again, they do not always tease out the micro tissue injury. I always use this example because we get it quite a bit. Dr. Chivers gets it quite a bit because he does a lot of baseball pictures. Somebody comes in and they say, you know what, when I'm pitching, I just can't get my arm back into the pocket. For some reason, my pitch speed is going down and I can't get my arm into that cock back position and I can't get as much you know, force on my pitch. So you do your orthopedic tests. Nothing's gonna come up on an orthopedic test or something like that. You do your imaging methods. You're gonna do an x-ray. Why? Because maybe they have a fracture or so, probably not. That comes out negative. Your ultrasound testing is good as long as you have a like-minded ultrasound practitioner who wants to deal with sports injuries and who's looking for specific things. A lot of the times, ultrasound technicians only look for the exact same things over and over and over. So if you send a shoulder and you have a problem right there, it's very difficult to get them to focus right there. They're probably going to look at these, the rotator cuff tendon. They're going to say the rotator cuff tendon is fine. That's okay if you're a surgeon, but for us, we, we're dealing with, we're trying to tease out very specific fascial adhesions. Saying a rotator cuff tendon is good really doesn't help us all that much. Nor will an ultrasound really find out any fascial adhesions or very minor, very minor, minor muscle things. It's only going to find out when there's an overt tear and you have a hypoechoic area, which is very large, or a big black area in the tendon. So we send for an MRI, which is the grand poobah of all imaging. MRI comes back, MRI is negative. So the only true way to differentiate the symptomatic tissue, especially in this case, lies in the practitioner's ability to palpate the boo-boo. You need to palpate the boot. You need to find exactly what tissue is inflamed or adhesed or torn or whatever. 
If you have the exact diagnosis, then you can develop a treatment plan which is going to exactly focus on the specific findings of that person's complaint. So, the accuracy of the direct diagnosis is dependent on the practitioner's ability to clearly distinguish between anatomical structure and between normal versus abnormal tissue. The effectiveness of the treatment protocol that follows that diagnosis is completely re relies on the outcome of number one. So if you have a specific diagnosis, if you have a very good understanding as to the pathological problems that's occurring, and you have a very specific idea as to which structure is injured, then the treatment plan that you develop or the tools that you choose in order to combat those symptoms are going to be more specific, and therefore you are going to end up with better results which is our motto for the weekend here, is that your specificity, the specificity of the diagnosis will equal the specificity of treatment, which equals the specificity of results. So the better your diagnosis, the more clear and understandable and specific your diagnosis, the better results you're gonna have for that patient.